Ah, yo, listen. It is early in the morning right now. And I'm recording the videos because I got to. Because, <laughs> um, last night I did not have the chance to record videos because it was my cousin's birthday. Shout out to my cousin. Happy belated birthday. And I was at the party. And I, you know, I caught the Times vs. Chief game. I called part of the Packers versus Niners game, but obviously I wasn't home to record. So I'm gonna do it right now, get it up. I apologize for it being late. I apologize if it's like I'm drowsy in them or anything. You know what I'm saying? But I won't have, won't really have much, uh, much of time today. My semester's starting back up very soon, so you know I'm gonna be busy again. But let's get into Titans versus Chiefs. Listen, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. For ending their what like 50 year drought of having been to a Super Bowl since the very first one, I think. In Kansas City, you guys have been competitors in the league for about the past four or five years. You built your way up from a a wild card team that showed promise to one that became an annual playoff appearance team to one that became a very very legitimate threat last year. And you guys improved your defense enough to make it to the big game here in this year. And I gotta say, I think I said this um, after their divisional game. Oh, man, who did they play in their divisional game? I'm blanking out right now, but I definitely gave Kansas City's defense props in their divisional game. Let me just pull it up right now. Oh, yeah, they played the Texans. I can't believe I forgot that. 51-31. Yeah, I definitely gave their defense props there because... Look, I said in that video, you can't have a comeback without your, defeat, your your defense being great and pulling some stops. And their defense was great there. And their defense was great again today. And Kansas City's offense, everybody knows it's no joke. But everybody should know to never count them out. I mean, like, as soon as the Titans um, went up, uh, like, 7-zip, and I think it was 10-zip uh, and then it was 10-7, whatever the case was, there was a stall on their offense a little bit. They started out a little slow, the Chiefs I'm talking about. I never doubted them because I guess that's just how they operate. They start out slow, then they start clicking, you know what I mean? And there's a little drop passes here and there, but they just start clicking. They start meshing. Once that WD-40 gets between the joints, everything's running well and smooth, and it's kind of clipped for whoever's opposite of them. I feel real bad for the Titans just because I really want to see them, you know, be the road warriors, go all the way and... You know, so that we could legitimately remember the Titans. I still feel like everybody's going to remember them now because you make the AFC Championship and you're a good team with a good foundation. You don't go away. I don't think they're going to get back to the AFC Championship next year. And obviously, this is, you know, a way out there prediction. But I don't think they're getting back here unless they um add, like, a huge pass rusher on defense or just a huge playmaker on defense. And um, they definitely need another quarterback. And I said that Ryan Tannehill as a game manager is okay because it works. But now you can see where your limits are. There's going to be certain games where it's just going to have to be, you know, kind of a, shoot a shootout situation. And a manager won't be able to do it. A game manager can get you through a lot of games if you have a team built like the Tennessee Titans. But it won't get you through a game where the guy opposite of you is Patrick Mahomes. And um, it won't get you through a game when the Kansas City defense holds Derrick Henry to 69 yards on the ground. And I par blame, blame that partly on uh, Tennessee's offense because they only ran him 19 times. He usually got like 30 carries in these all these playoff games and like in the past eight, nine weeks. But I digress. Tennessee, you guys had a great run. I, I love to see it. I would have loved to see it continue, but the better team won here. The better team definitely won in Kansas City going to their first Super Bowl in damn near 50 years. Patrick Mahomes is no joke. I mean, for a while, their tendency did look like they were having a good game. They were controlling the clock. Um, it looked like they were, you know, essentially, they were in it. I'm not going to say it, didn't, it, it never looked like they were dominating because Kansas City was always in the game. But it looked like Tennessee was also, you know, about, they have a chance, I guess. But Mahomes did not allow that to get very far. And just like in the Texans game, he kind of just took over. And that offense just propelled the Chiefs forward. And like I said, the defense played great. Holding Derrick Henry to 69 yards and holding the um, Titans to like 10 points and 17 points for a really long time while the offense, the Kansas City offense, was putting up points. But Patrick Mahomes, this explosive offense, and now I can say 
this good defense. I don't think it's great. I think it's good. And it's definitely underrated because I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. They're in the Super Bowl. And obviously, they're against the uh, Niners. That's going to be a toss-up. It reminds me a lot of the Seahawks versus Broncos in 2013. It was 2013, I think, right? Where it was like the unstoppable force in the um, Broncos offense versus the immovable object in the Seahawks defense. And everybody thought it would be a great matchup, but Seahawks just came out on top. Will the same thing happen there? I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, put your comments down below. What do you think of this game? I thought it was really entertaining. I like this AFC Championship game. And I hope the Titans come back next year stronger and better. But Kansas City might be in the running of just ruling the AFC for the next 15 years. If they play their cards right. I'm out. You're... Hi guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're...